multi tools. I've been getting asked for them nonstop. It's like you can't live without it. You just need multi tools, huh? But don't worry, Ebola Man's here. Ebola is here to save the day. I'll teach you how to make any multi tool. I'll literally teach you all the secrets. You're going to be a pro. Actually, or I might just make two parts. Who knows? Just know that I actually did have a multi tool tutorial up almost like a year ago. It's been nine months. And guess what happened to it? <laughs> taken down. Taken down. And it did well. And it got taken down twice. Because I tried re uploading it. I'm like, oh, it's a mistake, right? YouTube would never take down my multi tool tutorial. No. No. They took it down twice. I'll be putting my PTSD to the side, all my Vietnam flashbacks to the side, and I'm gonna make this tutorial and teach you how to make a kick ass multi tool in batch. Let's get right into it. Step number one is to create a folder for our multi tool. This is where we'll keep the file, all the different files that it's gonna be using, everything. Just organization, right? We're gonna call it multi tool. Wow. You wanna go into multi tool and you wanna create a file. And now call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it main dot bat make sure that it ends with dot bat because how are you supposed to run a dot txt good luck with that so it's going to be a dot bat to specify that it's a batch file and this is going to be the name so just hit enter boom the icon should change and you should be good all right so now it's time to code main dot bat we're going to click on it right click and then edit with notepad plus plus so start it with add echo off and now it's time to make the banner so the banner is the first thing that shows up it's the big like you know what I mean? 3D text, the ASCII art. And that's basically the first thing that happens. And I'm going to show you how to make that. So open up the browser of your choice and go to pattorjk.com. And over here, you're going to see a bunch of random ass stuff. You want to go to, wait, where is it? Aha, uh -huh. text to ASCII art generator. You want to click on this. Or, you know, I'm just going to drop the link in the description. You can just click on that. How it works. You type the text here. I don't know. We're going to type multi-tool and you choose the font here and it creates the ascii art and you can just copy paste it straight into your file so the most popular font yeah right here nc figlet fonts don't know why the hell it's called that but all these fonts are the most common ones that i see at least so 3d ascii is what i used for recon v2 if you know you know we have ansi regular so this blocky stuff which you've definitely seen oh my god <coughs> So you have ANSI regular or you have ANSI shadow. This is my personal favorite one. This is what I used for SM bomb. Let me throw that up. Oof, I love this one. And then we have bloody. Okay, there we go. I use this for another tool, which I won't be talking about. It's a secret. We have Calvin S. I've used this. Okay, yeah, no one gives a shit if I use them or not, but these are basically, yeah, all the ones here are pretty cool. So we're gonna go with the most generic one, ANSI shadow. By the way, if you want to see more of me, consider checking out my private community where I have exclusive videos. You can post stuff, ask questions. I have different courses, one on rats, one on game hacking. I have source code where you can actually find my old files like recon and a bunch of other stuff. And we have a discord server, which comes with the private community. So check out that link below if you're interested, but you can use any of these. And honestly, my recommendation is try to match it up with your tool. You know, if you're making like something like this use this font something like you know what i mean if you're making something like then use this okay and we're making something really basic and generic so this is the perfect thing to match up with it so now we're going to create a subroutine for our banner so you want to go down semicolon banner and we're going to paste that in boom multi-tool look at that and what you're going to do is under at echo off you want to go to banner and now what you want to do is just type echo before every line. So echo, I just like to copy paste it, go bam, 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 bam. All right. And add a few empty spaces. We're going to add two of these and you want to add some spaces. And here we go. It's shifted a little bit. This should look better. We're just going to take a look at this, right? Let's take a look, right? Let's take a good look of this perfectly working batch file. Main.bat. Main. And what? the hell is this this is not what we ordered what is this this is because the active code page is wrong right now it's set the code page is set to by default uh 437 boo we do 65001 okay changes the code page now let's run main again oh. Oh. so much dopamine from that what the hell all right boom 
multi-tool working well. So what we do is we add this little code page change right here. So we're going to go I go off. And before we call the banner, we change the code page and we null it out, of course, because we don't want it to say that. So null, go to banner. All right, we're just going to add a pause at the end here. Boom, here we go, multi-tool. So I'm just going to keep it at the default window size. But if you want to change it, the command is mod. So if you type like mod, you type width and height. So you type like, I'm pretty sure it's mode, actually. That's my bad. Oh, here we go. All right. So yeah, it's mode. And then you change the window size. Here we go. It's a big window. I don't know if you have some crazy multi-tool with like 60 different options. You go with this if you have a if you have a little small multi-tool and you can go with something like this it's a little too small but yeah you can change your size but the main thing is that you want to make sure that the banner is aligned if it's too much to one side it's gonna look bad too much to the other it's gonna look bad it's a little bit of an ocd thing too so i don't know i might be tweaking but i i literally count i literally count the spaces so one two three four a few moments later 19, 19 20 all right so it's at 20 that so we want to move over the banner two spaces to the left so that's what we're gonna do no one two oh and of course i use tabs rookie mistake my bad so yeah you want to use spaces so it'll be easier to edit because if you tab you're just gonna move in, in those increments which you don't want so yeah then i'm just gonna copy paste all the spaces and do this boom save open this up there we go multi-tool balanced out i'd say we could move it over back to the left just by one Wait, what the yo Bum, ba, da, bum. Let's see how that looks like there we go so in my opinion this is basically perfect this is all we need we should start with the title to be honest title Wait, wait, wait. This is how I used to run it back in the day. By Ebola Man. Alright, that's looking nice and fresh. Now we keep going. So now we make the many. We have the different options, but what are the different options? Well, it depends what your multi-tool exactly is. So I have multi-tools where all the code is in the batch file and it's just batch code that does different things. There are multi-tools where they start different programs, multi-tools that do this, that do that. We're going to be doing like the simplest form of multi-tools and that's where they just call different programs. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of a file opener multi-tool. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder inside here. I'm going to call it files. This is also how I always used to do it keep it nice and organized in the little files right here and now you just need files to add i guess so i'm gonna look through all of my secret anonymous software and choose some programs that we want opened up so we have putty it's a ssh client all right bam now we have four different programs and this is what our multi-tool is going to be opening so this is what i came up with we have virtualbox process hacker 2 it's basically just the task manager but you know for skids we have putty and we have Wireshark. So these three are shortcuts. That means they have a .lnk extension, even though you don't see it. And you also want to make the name simpler. So I'm just going to call this like VBox, VirtualBox. This is going to be PH2. And Wireshark can be Wireshark and Putty can be Putty. And boom. So this is it. This is all we need. So now what we're going to do is go CD files. So this is going to go from this directory because this is where we run main.bat it's going to go into files and over here we create the menu where we choose which program we want to open but we're just going to create a simple menu and we can improve it all right so now we actually want to make this look good wait first let's run it and, and see how this looks main.bat and it's crashing right away which is not cool oh okay so what we want to do is call banner now go to banner we call it and we need to add a semicolon to specify that it's a subroutine Look, even I'm remembering things along the way. Boom, here we go. Multi-tool, process hacker one, Wireshark, virtual box, putty. So you could keep things this way, or you can make things nice. So we're gonna make things, we're gonna make things nice, of course. All right, so I have this file called 666elite.bat. I go over it in that video up there where I basically go over old files. And over here, we have a pretty cool thing going on here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy that and modify it a little bit. I'll just cut to when it's ready. Actually, wait, change my mind, no cutting. We're gonna do a crazy montage of this. Go.
damn i just grinded the hell out of that okay not really grinded i just i just did a quick little speed run um and yeah yeah this is what it turned out like honestly not that great but my goal with this is to give you inspiration right you can use these pipes to do all sorts of things you can create some crazy pattern right this is just something simple that i made off the top of my head nothing crazy i would actually move it to the left a little now that i think about it but yeah i'm gonna drop the websites below but i used the ascicode.com.ar and this and i just basically copied these pipes made different patterns and you can do pretty cool stuff so yeah it's an input so now we actually have to accept the input and process it so what we're gonna do if dash i input is equal to one then we're gonna start it's gonna be process hacker two so that's gonna be ph2 dot lnk because shortcuts by default the extension is dot lnk and i'm just gonna copy this Control D, you know, it's my best friend. Then we have Wireshark, putty, but dot exe. Boom. And after this is done, we're just going to go with the most simple solution. We just clear screen. So we're going to go back to start. So we're going to go to start. So we just have to put CD files above the start. And now, boom, boom. Uh oh. Come back. Wait, boom, boom. And there we go. There we go but we're not finished so the functionality is there but where are the colors where's the dopamine so you have a few different options for colors you can either just use the color command or use color codes so i'll show you the difference so just using the color command uh you want to open up command prompt because that's how you're going to choose which color you want and type color and boom question mark and over here you can do any single combination if i just choose one index then it's just going to change the font color like the text color so if i choose for example a that's going to be light green so everything just turns light green i can change the background and to do that i just combine it with something so i do a and then let's say i want to do it with red let me do a better combination my eyes are already hurting um, maybe i'm not the best at this uh, um um okay I, I guess this isn't i mean i don't know so just find the color combination they like okay look maybe you just want it to be green so let's see how that would look like if we just do color a for example uh, actually let's try purple i always like purple more so color five boom now it's purple look at this so this is looking nice and this is easy but now the problem is you can't have different colors if you choose one color it's going to be the same color for the whole entire thing so I'll show you how to do color codes. So your boy has a file called colors.bat and this shows you all the different color codes that you can use. It uses an escape code and has the color code and boom, it just changes it just like that. You can have your normal foreground color, you can have a strong one, you can have a background color, you can have different styles, so bold, underline, inverse. So we're gonna keep things simple because you can get pretty complicated with this colors.bat stuff. Again, it's fun. You can definitely do some like cool art but we're keeping things simple for now so what we're going to do i'm thinking making like red orange yellow you know making kind of like a fire design oh yeah that's yeah that's gonna be sick okay, so we're gonna start with red so this is the escape code right here this is the color code and you also need like the what's called the closing one we need all of that so we have red so we're gonna do this one red this one red and these two are orange then these two are yellow so i don't know if there's a orange actually okay there isn't an orange so i'm gonna try to figure out how to make orange Wait for me. ChatGPT came in clutch. We actually got orange. Oh my god. Yo. I love ChatGPT with all my heart. Look at this. Look at this. I literally just said, um, I want to make orange. And boom, it actually works. You can make any color. You can literally make every single color. That's crazy. We literally figured out. <laughs> Bro, I did not expect that to work. I did not expect that to work. Okay, so here we go. And then yellow, yellow. So now it might look a little bit messed up. It might just look, you know, off sync, but it actually isn't because the only time that it'll get off sync is if you add any spaces or anything. The color codes don't actually affect it. So let's see what this looks like. All right, let's, let's do a quick test. Huh? Okay, that looks a little goofy. That's not that's not how I expected it. Okay, here, here, here. I got I gotta get a little more creative here. A few moments later. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life, bro. This is with Patch. With Python, you can do this easily. With Patch. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my god. 
Guess what did this? Look at this. Make a six line, red to yellow, smooth color fade. Each line is a different color. Boom. Copy paste it. No issues. It gives me the perfect fade, bro. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just add this color code to all of these. So basically it actually like matches, you know? All right, let's run it now. Boom, 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 boom. Multi-tool by a bullet man. Looking sexy. Bro, I, yo, I was going into this video like, oh, whatever, just a multi-tool tutorial. This is the most beautiful thing I've laid my eyes on. I made this in half an hour. This is just beauty. This is pure beauty. <laughs> Bro, I might cry. All right, well, I'll leave all the links, all the code, everything in the description. Yeah, I'm, I'm running late to school, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta eat breakfast and I gotta run. But thank you for watching. Like and sub. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun with the multi-tools and I will see you next time. Peace.